Hi everyone, my name is Oscar and I speak five different languages. I am a polyglot, what they say, a multi-language speaker. I speak Dutch, English, German, Spanish and French. So, ik ben geboren in Nederland, dus dat is mijn moedertaal die ik heb geleerd. Um, English I've learned in school and from English movies and television. I lived in Australia for four years to study and work, so that's how I learned to speak English. Deutsch habe ich gelernt, weil ich bin mit zehn Jahren nach Deutschland gezogen und ich bin dort zur Schule gegangen. Ich hatte viele Freunde in Deutschland und das war wirklich eine wunderbare Zeit da. J'ai appris à parler français parce que nous sommes allés en France pour des vacances. La France est un beau pays et parfait pour passer beaucoup de temps en France. Hace poco aprendí a hablar español porque fui a Centroamérica y me encanta el sonido del idioma. En este momento todavía me encanta escuchar música en español y las letras. Así es como aprendí. I'm interested to learn these languages because I think it just um, enhances my experience as a, as a traveler because if I travel to France I can speak with the local people if I travel to Spain or to Argentina or to El Salvador I can speak Spanish with the people there um, same with German German is also speaking many different places German people all over the world it just makes you have new friends all over the world and it's just a great skill to have as well when you are starting to learn a language, um, you need to have dedication. And sometimes the most difficult thing is to have patience. You cannot learn a new language in one day or in one week. Have a little bit of patience, trust in yourself, and then you see it's not that hard. Anyone can do it, even I can do it, so you can do it as well. When you are learning a new language, I think it's very important to be consistent. Try to learn every day a little bit instead of just one day in a week and then working three or four hours, pushing yourself, you know, trying to learn it. No, I think it's better just to do every day a little bit. Maybe on Monday you learn about some Spanish songs. On Tuesday you learn a little bit of, of a podcast. On the next day you read a little bit in the book. Other day you're really going into this app like Glossika where you have a lot of different options to learn as well. So try to be consistent every day and then you'll see it's just fine. So as a polyglot, a multi-language speaker, it's very easy to mess up words. So you start a sentence in Spanish and then you end in French or some words you swap around. I remember I was in a, in a taxi at some point in, uh, I think in El Salvador or Nicaragua and super happy with myself. I speak Spanish and I speak with the driver and all of a sudden there's a French couple sitting next to me and they start to speak French with me. And I was like, oh, that's fine, I can speak French. And I tried to speak French, but the words just didn't come out. I was like, because I was so immersed in the Spanish language, I just couldn't get myself to speak French. So uh, yeah, that, that's what happens. But eventually I got into it as well and I spoke with them. So it was uh, pretty crazy sometimes as a multi-language speaker, but a lot of fun too. As a multi-language speaker, uh, yes, you sometimes do forget your own language because once you really get into a language, like for example, for me, English now, I start to also think in English. I start to dream in English and then your whole mother language is gone. Um, so yeah, uh, once you get really advanced, you, you, uh, yeah, you really become almost like a native speaker uh, and you forget your mother language. But it's never far away. You can always pick it up at some point. One thing I learned uh, as a multi-language speaker is that it's just a lot of fun to learn these languages. In the beginning, you understand really nothing from a language. And then if you put your mind into it, you start to slowly understand the word, then you start to understand the sentence, then you understand two sentences. And it, when you hear, for example, a song on the radio, like a Spanish song, then you're like, hey, I know what they're saying. And it just gives you a really good feeling. 
and in the beginning yeah you don't know anything and after a while you start to understand and it's just a, a great feeling so one hack i can give you when you are learning a new language is everybody loves music right try to find your favorite song in a foreign language and try to really dissect it. So look at the lyrics on, on, uh, on your computer, play the song over and over again and try to figure out what they're saying. It's so much nicer and entertaining than just dry language in a book. Yeah, if you see a song and uh, yeah, uh, maybe you find some meaning uh, behind it and you can always use Google Translate to really put it back into your own language. Yeah, that's how I learned to speak Spanish really well because the Spanish, they have amazing songs, really emotional songs. And uh, yeah, I all looked them up. I tried to understand what they were saying and that really helped me a lot. So this was my tip for you. So everybody, good luck on your language learning journey. The rewards are high. It's really amazing what you can achieve when you learn a new language. Uh, maybe you find the woman of your dreams or the guy of your dreams in another country. It's just a great skill to have. You're gonna have so much fun and I wish you all the best. Veel plezier, au revoir, hasta luego.